Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we have something truly special for you. We're going to share an incredible journey into the world of storytelling, where we will show you how to create your very own kid's storybook using AI tools, while at the same time, you will be able to generate passive income as well. Now let's get started. Let's begin with writing a story with ChatGPT. All you have to do is simply go to your web browser and go to ChatGPT or chat.openai.com. So what you could just do here is just simply write or let ChatGPT write the title first. So you can ask ChatGPT to write a unique title for a children's storybook. So once ChatGPT has provided your title, you can use the title in order for you to create a story. So what you can do here is simply type in write a children's storybook with chapters about and then just copy the title and then just paste it right here at the bottom and then once it's done just hit and enter and in a matter of minutes chat gpt will be generating a storybook for kids in just a few minutes as you can see here it has chapters here up to 10 and once you have that generated the next thing that you'll need to do is to create or generate the images that you will use for the storybook so what we will be using right here is the leonardo ai you can go to your app that leonardo ai you can sign up for free and the first thing that we will need to do here is that you need to generate or click on the AI generation tool and simply type in or since on our story, Zara is the main character. So before we will be able to start generating the clips or images for our storybook, we need to create the character first. This is very helpful so that you will be able to generate consistent images in the later part of the video. So as you can see here, what you need to do is you need to indicate the name, which is Zara, the age, the hairstyle, the clothes, and what type of illustration you'd like the character to be in. So I want my character to be in a watercolor um style for the illustration like this one and once we have found the correct character for us to use in our storybook you can just simply copy the first chapter and just continue the or put it at the end part of the prompt and as you can see here we have a similar it may not be identical to the first image that we've generated here, right here, but it's very similar. You can see that the clothes are there, the color of the hair as well, and the hairstyle. So then you can simply just continue the prompt just by copy and pasting the chapters, since you'll only need one chapter or one image for one chapter for this children's storybook. And right here, you just need to do this repeatedly until you have found or until you have completed all the chapters or until you have created or generated images for all the chapters of the book. So right here, as you can see, the first prompt that we've created where it has the character informations, we do not need to remove that or change that or if you just want to change the dress the character is wearing you can do so but with the other information like the brown hair the hairstyle and the illustration it's best not to remove or change that so that you will be able to create consistent images like these so let me just continue this image generation here with leonardo ai here and as you can see, some of the images that will be generated has some text in it. You can definitely help this or this could definitely help your other, especially when you want to use that image for the cover of the storybook that you're creating. But that depends whether the image that was generated is um, relating to the title 
but if it's not you can just regenerate another image for the storybook so now that i have fully generated all of the chapters for the storybook what we will do here is go to canva.com this is a free editing platform where you can edit the storybook all you have to do is go to your homepage or go to your web browser as well um rather and then just simply search for canva and then once you are at the home page and signed in you just look for storybook and then you'll be able to start a blank page like this one right here so the first thing that we will need to do is create a template for the chapters. So what I did here is go to elements and I look for a frame. This is the frame that I have. And after I have the frame added into the storybook template, I just need to adjust that until it would fit the whole page. And then now the, what I'm working on is the title or the chapter. And then later on, I will be adding the story or the content of that specific chapter at the right panel of the screen or at the canvas that we are working on. So you can definitely modify the layout, but here I would just, I just want to keep it simple like this. So what I'll do is copy the first chapter, paste it right here, and then I just, in, We'll be dragging this at the left or right side of the storybook canvas that we are working on right here. Just resize that, position that until the whole words will fit. So in this storybook, since it would be for kids, what I use for the font right here is Comic Sans since it's a text that is much more fitting for a kid's children's book. So the next thing that I'm doing here is that I'm adding a texture at the background. What you can do is go to elements and look for photos and then just type in our, at the search box texture. And then I just change the opacity. So from here, what I'll do is that I will go to downloads or uploads rather. And then you can simply drag and drop the files into the left side panel of the screen right here. And you, once that is uploaded, you can just drag the image and then hover that into the frame that we have. And as you can see, it automatically replaces or it's automatically incorporated into the frame that we have into our storybook. So we just need to continue doing that here for each chapter. And then I just placed the content as well, since for each chapter, it has different story or it is a continuation of the first chapter that we've created. So I just need to modify that here. And as you can see here with the chat GPT, with the story that was generated, there's actually a chapter title. So we can incorporate that here into our storybook that we are editing. I'm just adjusting that and also have it here. So once you have all of the template positioned, what you can actually do is that you can duplicate that specific chapter or the template and then you can just simply replace the images, the text and the chapter title as well later on. So right here, making sure that it also has the title for chapter one. Here, just adjusting a few details. So you can click on this icon with a plus at the upper right corner of the page. And then what we can do here is just simply go back to Leonardo, making sure that we have the, downloaded all the images for our children's storybook or kids storybook rather. Just click on download. And then from here, you'll be able to see that I'm working on the cover page. So I use that image and then I just look for an element that I can have um, on the title or where the title will be placed. So making sure that this would fit. 
sometimes it does not look great i just need to reposition that or i'll be looking another ribbon for this since this is too rustic here so i have the title placed but i don't like the ribbon that i've added or incorporated here into the cover that i'm working so i'll be using this simpler ribbon instead and i'll be changing the color and the text color as well will be changed into a lighter one and there that's the cover page now that we have the cover page we just need to repeat the process until we have completed all the chapters for our kids storybook here chapter eight making sure that we replace the image as well for each chapter so that it would be different for each chapter that we have the ones done, you can click on share and then just download the file as a pdf and now that we have the video downloaded please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button now let me show you the final outfit for our kids storybook and now that it's fully downloaded, you can open the file. And as you can see here, we now have the kids storybook. And then you can just upload this into any publishing company. And then you'll be able to generate passive income from here. And that's basically it. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Bye.